Hi everyone, it's a beautiful first afternoon at the Sedona International Film Festival 2022. I want to give a huge shout out to Yavapai College for this amazing setup with the VIP room, the workshops, and our media room. And I want to say thanks to Northern Arizona Healthcare for putting us here this year. And wow, do I have a filmmaker and a film for you. Please introduce yourself in this film. Um, hi, I'm Ivy Camille Minibitso. I am the director of Powerlands, which is about the effects that um, energy corporations have on indigenous peoples globally. Yes, and you brought a trailer for us to check out, yes. correct? I want to get everybody in the same room. Let's roll the trailer. They're trying to say we don't exist. We are indigenous people to this land. We have the roots growing right out of our feet. We belong here. It's not just our community that's affected this way. There's so many indigenous communities. There's so many people of color that have to face these realities every day. We are not separate from our environment. And we have been damaged in this whole process of being colonized. We show up to action with just ourselves, with our prayers, with our voices, and that's power. So that's the power that makes them shiver in their little SWAT gear. You put our backs against the wall, we put one foot in front of the other, and we face the storm like our brothers the buffalo. We face the storm. We are not backing down ever again. love you. <laughs> Thanks. Seriously. Thanks. What did it take to put this film together? Um, so Jordan Flaherty, who is um, one of the executive producers, very close friend, um, and I have been working on this. It started when I was 18 and I'm 26 now. So it has been a long journey. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we traveled globally to the Philippines, Colombia, Oaxaca, Standing Rock, and Black Mesa. Mm -hmm. um, and in each place, if, if Jordan couldn't be there, I was there. If I couldn't be there, Jordan was there. Um, and yeah, this film was a globally collective made film as well. We have um, people working with us from the UK all the way to California, all the way to the you know, Philippines, Oaxaca, Standing Rock. Um, we have seven different languages in the film. We have music from globally, like it is very much a global Peace. It was a collaboration. Yeah. Yes. Cooperation and collaboration is how we're going to win this. Yes. So, what turned you on to this? And you just told me a story off camera. And what was the scariest part for you? Um. Well, I, I, this film, this whole journey started. I'm from Black Mesa. I'm Dene, um, and I grew up on Black Mesa, I was born into the resistance of Peabody Coal. Uh, my grandmother may so, my grandmother are Roberta Blacko, and I just have these amazing, strong, powerful women mm -hmm. behind me. Um, and so that's where, it, that's the, the journey of me getting into this is I was born into it, that is <laughs> it. And I started filming, my mom's Rachel Cox, she's a filmmaker, Klee Benali is my uncle, super lucky to just have like amazing film people around me. Um, so that's that's how I got into it. Um, and then this film, I think the journey of getting into it, like it started small. I don't think you know, we know that it is everywhere, that it is happening everywhere, that it is you can't avoid it anywhere. Okay. The only thing that you're if you're not aware of it, you're just pretending at this point. So yes. Yeah. So just for the people who may not know, can you explain to them? what this film is truly about at the heart of it all. Yeah, so I think I think that this film most importantly is for the indigenous communities mm -hmm. to know that one, you're not alone. Mm -hmm. um, and for the, those coming up, be like, hey look, here's lots of other resources. Here are ways to, you can do peaceful resistance, you can do um, community collaboration and reclamation resistance, you can do um, protest resistance. You, there's so many different things. You can do language resistance. Right. Um, and I've been lucky to be able to travel all over Indian country um, with Project 562 with Matika Wilbur and meet so many incredible and amazing indigenous people that are just everywhere. And um, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's about, is, is it four companies? 
It well, it focuses primarily on BHP, Peabody, and Glencore mm -hmm. um, Extrata, which are the larger corporations that have all worked together to impact Black Mesa, um, Columbia, Oaxaca, Standing Rock, and um, the Philippines. On a huge scale, like this is not like, oh, they went and did a little thing. They have wiped out swaths of land and people on them. Yeah, part the part of um, Navajo Nation that I grew up on, um, it's called HBL, Hopi Partition Lands, um, doesn't look the way that it did when I was a child. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm only 26. That's It's not that long ago. It's a very short period of time. Um, and so I, I can see the difference. I know that you can look outside and see the difference. It's not like any, you can't deny the difference that Peabody has done to here specifically. Yes. And if you can imagine what you're seeing here, in places where there are a lot less cameras, there are a lot less people making noise, and there are a lot less regulations, it's happening 10 times worse. Wow, and you just had a, your screening, right? Yes. You just came straight from that. So how was it? How did the people, what was the reaction? It was great. Um, I I think people really liked it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, that was why I was running a little late. I had it's people okay. stopping. It's all good, it's all good. That's yeah. what we want. But it was great. Um, yeah, I think I got stuck for like 30, 45 minutes after the screening talking with people because every, every single person came up with a story of like, do you know about this land resistance? Do you know about this land resistance? And I think that's the biggest part of this film and the journey that we're trying to do with it is being like, See, look, if this film, if you see these five places, like, what does this remind you of? Yes. Where yeah. is it going on in your backyard? What yes. do you see? Where does your light switch? Like, what is it actually connected to? And where do you screen again? When do you screen? Again? We screen on Friday. Okay, do you know, is it Harkins? No. Mary Fisher. Mary Fisher. So Mary Fisher on Friday. Get your tickets. It's really, I mean, she's an incredible filmmaker. This will be one of those things that hits home for most people. If you are of any age and have grown up in any part of this country, you can see how it's changing. So well done. Thank so you. powerful. And there's a lot of beauty in it. It's not all ugly. You get to see incredible people, powerful people, showing their true colors, standing up, saying, we're not going to take this anymore. To me, I was like, yes, yes, let me, I'm going to give you some more of that yeah and that's what is deserved we all have to come together to create some great cooperative change yes 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 where what website how can they keep up with you where is the film going um so we have a power lounge website out at the moment we're currently paying a website designer for a better one. Okay, all <laughs> right, so, okay. But uh, this is the world premiere here at Sedona <gasps> International Film Festival, so this is the first time it's being seen anywhere, so this is also kind of like the... This is a big deal. Yes, it's, we're really thankful for the Sedona International Film Festival. Thank you. Congratulations on getting here. <laughs> come back. Thank we you. We want you to come back. I love this place. Um, I think I screened a film here when I was like 13, a long time ago, and then I know my mom's worked with them. I, I think of the Sedona International Film Festival as like my film festival, so it's really lucky to have been able to screen here. We would like to claim you. <laughs> Do it! Yay! <laughs> All good things here at the Sedona International Film Festival, everyone. Stay tuned. We'll be back tomorrow. Carol's going to be in the seat tomorrow with lots of filmmaker interviews. Please follow the hashtag Sedona Film Fest and Sedona Film Fest 2020. 2020. 2022. My goodness, let's not go back and repeat a couple of years, huh? And we will catch you tomorrow live at the media room at the Sedona International Film Festival. <laughs>